Boyd Bilek has made multiple trips to Poland and Ukraine in the past year, and he just returned from his Christmas trip overseas. He spent three weeks there delivering food and clothing to people in Ukraine. And the support locally here in Northeast Michigan has been incredible, and because of all of the donations of, of clothing and funds to help ship it, we've been able to send uh, 220 boxes so far. Bilek made donation runs in Russian-occupied areas of Ukraine and had to wear a helmet and protective gear in order to safely make the donations. He said even when the people of Ukraine hear the air raid sirens, people will just go on about their day. To me, that's the ultimate sign of resistance as well as, I think, victory. Like, their will cannot be, you know, stopped. Bilek has gotten to know people in Ukraine, and he's received fanfare from the people since returning. He doesn't do it for that, but the feeling is still rewarding. They were so grateful. They're so appreciative. Um, it's very emotional. They just want to touch you. Like they can't believe somebody actually cared enough to show up there. You know, that's the impression I got. And that's what led me to think, has anybody else even been here yet? You know, just, you know, yeah, kind of crazy. Bilek is now back in northeast Michigan and is still taking donations for his next trip overseas. He says his house is still full of boxes, but appreciates the support of everyone who has donated and made it possible for him to help those in Ukraine who need it. You people deserve all the thanks, really. I just get to be the messenger, so I get to do the fun stuff and, you know, take it in person, hand stuff out, or uh, go over there and network with people. But if it wasn't for everyone here helping, then there wouldn't be anything to send. So. And I'm just very thankful for that. In Alpena, Carter Landis, WBKB News.